So this is a bit of comments, you know, last summer on DeFi bubble moments, which also help you understand about, you know, you have to be so careful about these kind of asset allocation of the new DeFi player here. So today's investment review for the Butcher DAO, token code is Butcher. Okay, so let's start. So as usual, this is my portfolio strategy. So I only allocate my assets to the Bitcoin and all the Oracle which is related to these six categories. If you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio strategy, please check out my other video about my portfolio strategy. And in today's brochure matching category, you here and here. So they mainly provide DApps applications, especially for the retail investor, B2C side. Their application business category is heavily rely on a DeFi space, Quattro DeFi and the token to token deck stuff. So these number three, number four also sub matching category for this product. Okay. And uh, as usual, I'm going to apply the six anarcho points. So starting for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy and a hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here. So the total score is 30.30. Okay. And then let's start for the number one, pain point analysis. And then before moving into the detail of the pain point analysis, one thing I want you to understand here is about the chasm theory and the internet giant here. And the chasm theory is one of the most well advanced and well sought out tech marketing theory about mass adaptations. So they have many five key user base here. So starting for the innovator, early adapter, and the chasm here and the early majority, late majority, and late mass here, okay? And then every single new technology experiences these directions for their mass adaptations. The same as internet too. Then when you look at the internet, we can find out here, these are the three major killer applications. So search engine Google, social network Facebook, and e-commerce Amazons. One of the shared things, which is related to D3 player is all these players provide B2C applications, not a B2B or not enterprise solutions, B2C applications, which is also very critical for the you know, Chasm Theory based analysis staff because every single killer application who's gonna make the extreme massive success of the new technology adaptations all the time provide B2C applications. Same as blockchain technology too. When you think about who's gonna be the next Google or next Facebook on a blockchain space, you all the time have to think about what is the most viable B2C applications on the crypto space. Based on this understanding, let's move to the pain points of the Butcher. So they mainly have two pain points, all pain points related to the DeFi, decentralized finance, which is the most critical industry layer on the blockchain space, okay? Then pain point number one, critical needs for asset allocation optimization on the lending marketplace. So aggregator solution will make the retail investor more frictionless for their asset allocation optimization to maximize their investment return in a decentralized lending platform. So this is the first page view of decentralized lending platform, Abe. Currently they're gonna visit around 30 major crypto assets such as Ethereum or DAI or Binance stock in here, okay? Then there is an you know, interest rate return on an annual basis so every single user who have these tokens, such as ETH, for long term, then once you're gonna integrate your DeFi wallets, such as MetaMask to the A platform, you can allocate your ETH token to this platform and make money through this interest rates. But you have to choose which asset you wanna allocate to the borrower side, okay? 30 crypto assets may be a little bit frustrating for you to you know, optimize your asset management stuff, but in long term, this is very crystal clear that NFT token will come to this, you know, decentralized lending platform. NFT token means the virtual gaming items or like, you know, art collections or even your smartphone or car or house stuff. All these stuff will be tokenized in long term. So once the Abe is scaled up, there are these crypto assets list, not about the major crypto assets, but also NFT tokens, these lists will be massive ones. So it's kind of an extremely tough work for you or for me. How are we going to optimize our asset 
allocation in a decentralized lending platform. So this is a critical pain point in a DeFi space as of now, right? And then pain point number two, lower impermanent loss risk on a DEX for your liquidity mining. So liquidity mining is one of the major revenue source for the retail investor to join the DEX platform because, for example, you have ETH tokens or Bitcoin something, and you're not going to plan to sell these tokens for the next two or three years. So long term hold. Then once you're going to provide this ETH to the DEX platform, such as Uniswap or Car Finance, you can make money by providing these crypto assets as a liquidity provider. So this is a huge revenue opportunity for you and me, but here's a critical risk behind this liquidity mining is about impermanent risk risk. Why we got to have impermanent loss risk on a DEX system? Because of their pricing mechanism. It's a pretty unique one. Central exchange, they're going to take the order booking system, you know, aggregating order order with the central booking system stuff. But in a DEX system, actually they're going to take the pooling price mechanism. That is why we have this impermanent loss risk as a liquidity provider. And if you want to deepen your understanding about this kind of DEX system architecture, please check out my other video about Uniswap. This is the one of the major DEX projects in the blockchain space. Okay? Then from their white paper, here's a clear description about the impermanent loss risk. So once you're going to have ETH tokens, and then you're going to join Uniswap as a liquidity provider, the timing, you're going to join this Uniswap as a liquidity provider, ETH token price, they're going to change 1.25x price change. They're going to result in additional 0.6% loss relative to just holding your ETH token on your wallet. Okay? Then once price is five times price change result in a 25.5% additional loss risk relative to just holding your crypto assets on your own wallet. And additionally, the critical things I want you to understand here is this one. This risk does exist both blue direction or bear directions. So whether price goes up or goes down, it doesn't matter. You have to take this risk. Once you look at you know, price chart of ease or you know, chain link or something, their price volatility is much higher than a stable coin. So these five times price change will typically happen on these type of you know, crypto assets. So this is one of the reasons that Currently, on a DEX system, stablecoin pairs such as DAI USDT will be very popular crypto asset pair on a DEX exchange because lower price volatility, that is why lower impermanent loss risk. Okay? So this is another critical pain point in the DEX system that any kind of retail investor doesn't want to take it. So somebody has to provide a critical solution for this. Okay? So based on this understanding, let's move to the next topic, product analysis. And then before I move into the detailed stuff, let's check out the history overview of the Badger. They are launched on December 2020, and most of the members are located in Toronto, Canada. And it looks like their product is a copy product of the Young Finance, made by Andy Cronjay. Okay? And the Badger DAO is community-read initiative, and all decisions are made through our Gabon board, including what, how, and when Badger DAO products are created. So they want to appeal the DAO ecosystem to open stuff here. Okay? And the token has a total supply of 21 million butcher only. So it's completely the same as Wi-Fi token on a Young Finance. Okay? And the system of overview of the butcher, it's completely the same as Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi connects you know, each DeFi world application such as MetaMask, Trust Wallet. Also in the long term, in my analysis, they got a plan to integrate their wallets with Square Cash or PayPal to their platform here, and then they're going to optimize the asset allocation to maximize their investment return on Uniswap, Xerox, Compound, Abe, or any other major DeFi platform here. Simply say, this product is kind of asset management applications for retail investor. Okay? Then here is value card promotion analysis. So they are direct competitor Wi-Fi, REN, also DEX player Uniswap, decentralized lending platform Abe here. Okay? And then one of the major completions that we need to pay attention to is here. WBTC, Asset Allocation Optimization, and the Lower Impact Loss Risk Management stuff. And then Butcher, in my analysis, there is no critical difference compared with other major players such as Wi-Fi and RAN. Then about DAO stuff, 
compared with you know, Wi-Fi, which has a very robust dial mechanism, it's more a little bit behind right now. So in my analysis, currently Bacha has no critical advantage model to compete with these direct competitor Wi-Fi and RAN. And the initial things I want you to understand here is WBTC. Because WPTC will be the key growth driver for the DeFi aggregation business. Why? Because once you can understand the chasm theory, it's pretty easy stuff for you. Again, these are the five keys I'm based on chasm theory. Innovator, early adapter, early majority, late majority, and late mass. So what is the most popular crypto assets for them? Bitcoin, right? Not the ETH, not the BAT, but Bitcoin. Every single crypto investor, they're going to buy Bitcoin. Which means, Rack Bitcoin Asset Allocation Solutions will be the key driver, DeFi aggregator player to achieve massive growth on their business. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? The currently WBTC market is initially developed by RenBM. So RenBM is a major player here on the BTC business as of now, okay? And here's one more thing I want you to understand here about potential about the DeFi aggregating solutions. In my analysis, one of the DeFi aggregator will be the Google on a blockchain. Why? Like this. First of all, Google on the internet made it searchable for everyone, right? With the search engine. So they're gonna have the user access to variable information in an extremely efficient way on the keyword search model, very flushless. Okay, then Young Finance, for example, one of the major competitors of Dutcher, makes crypto asset honorable for everyone. Because in a crypto space, there are a variety of business opportunities such as yield farming or leverage trading or liquidity mining stuff. But it's extremely tough for retail investors like you, like me, to effectively manage those asset allocations based on the you know, right opportunity on the crypto space. Instead, Young Finance help users to minimize their risk and maximize their investment return on a DeFi space, developing the decentralized strategy development model on their investment algorithm development stuff. The, here is a great analogy from the you know, Google search model. So the Google made a keyword search algorithm in a centralized fashion for internet contents, mainly text one. You know, this is the initial algorithm invented by Larry Page, you know, founder of the Google. So page rank algorithm effectively analyze the content linkage power mechanism stuff and then identify which contents what you are looking for right now with the keyword search machine model here. Okay? Then once we're gonna pay attention to the DeFi blockchain space, we can see the completely same analogy here. So Young Finance, for example, competitor of the Butcher made eating farming or liquidity mining strategy in a decentralized fashion. And one of the major references is YETH, one of the Yboros products. So you are here and you have certain amount of ETH tokens on your wallet and you're gonna connect your wallet such as MetaMask to the Young Finance and you're gonna deposit your ETH to the YETH vault here. Okay? Then these products acquire DAI with a 200% Authorization rate of ETH, then you're gonna move this DAI to Curve Finance to join liquidity mining on a DAI pool. Okay, so you're gonna receive the CRV tokens for the liquidity mining incentive stuff. Then you know this product sell this CRV token, Curve Finance CRV token on a DEX such as Uniswap, then pay success fee for this strategy creator and get returned by ETH. Okay. When you look at the Wi-Fi community, there are a variety of DeFi programmers. They're going to develop and manage these decentralized investment strategy. So you don't have to directly manage or liquidity mining pool or yield farming stuff or on a compound or Aave or Uniswap or Cloud Finance stuff. Instead, Young Finance DeFi aggregator takes care of it. And the Dodger, completely the same as Young Finance. Okay. And then number three, team analysis. So these are the four key members. So Chris, Operation Weed, he's a partner at the Angel Rock. It's a Canadian incubator. And also the founder, CEO of the North Block Crypto Investment Advisory Firm in Canada. And Emil Advisory, co-founder, Brock Geeks, and CEO of the Logic Media Growth Strategy and Marketing Consulting Business staff. He's also a serial tech entrepreneur. And Albert Advisory, he's a co-founder and CEO at the Stake Harmed 
Also, he's a council member at the NEM Foundations. And he got the Master of Computer Science degree at the University Politecnico de Catalunya in Spain. And Arvator, advisory, founder of the Meti. He's also the co-founder and CTO of the Fosram. So all of the serial entrepreneurs, not that bad team, but we don't know yet about their DAO organizations at this moment. Okay? And then number four, execution power analysis. Asset market updates as of now, January 2021 from DeFi Pals. Butcher DAO is currently leading player. Now, why they got to successfully allocate these TBR asset size here is this one. So this is the first page of the, you know, Butcher. And as you can see here, their current liquidity mining and the yield farming interest rates for wrapped Bitcoin, WBTC and Butcher is 300 59.22%. Huge amount. Pretty big number here. Okay. But here are the key things you need to pay attention to. So this is a bit of comments in the last summer on DeFi bubble moments, which also help you understand about, you know, you have to be so careful about this kind of asset allocation of the new DeFi player here. So seriously, the sheer volume of coins that need to be printed non-stop to pay liquidity provider in these 50 to 100 percent year yield farming regimes makes major national central banks look like they are all run by Ron Paul. What the Bitterk wants to say here is last summer 2020 when we have a DeFi bubble a lot of copy play of the Uniswap or Wi-Fi or Abe compound they're going to provide a very high ratio of the incentive model for the retail investor. But most of the project won't be sustainable ever. The reason is those incentives come from their issuing the new tokens, own token, Butcher, for example. So once capital injection from the fiat side or any other crypto asset side and the Butcher side, these high interest rates, as I mentioned here, will be stopped. So these type of you know, business model won't be sustainable ever so that is why you have to be very, very careful once you're going to decide to allocate this type of the products. Okay? Then in my analysis, Butcher, since they don't have any kind of critical differentiation point to compete with their direct competitor, Wi-Fi, and also RAMBM, so I don't think they can maintain these stats next one or two years. Okay? That's my analysis. And then number five, token economy analysis. So token economy design matrix, which I made, then their major matching category DAPs here, and also their sub matching category quadrant defined and DEX here. And then one of the most important items for the DAPs is network effects. And since they're gonna completely provide the same products of, of Yam Finance, so reference for the network effects on Wi-Fi here. Starting point is this one: crypto assets holder who are interested in yield farming or liquidity mining but prefer a lower risk bet, they're gonna rock up their assets into the you know, young finance type of the products, you know, same as Butcher, okay? Then once they're gonna rock up their assets, it's more incentive opportunity for creators who are gonna develop the new investment strategy. So then this is a critical success point for the growth mechanism. Better performance than direct yield farming and liquidity mining, which can accelerate better customer experiences for retail investor. That is why more retail investors rock their crypto assets here. Then this is their primary growth mechanism on the asset growth, okay? Then here is the second growth mechanism here about active user growth. So leveraging this asset pool growth here, you know, more wallets such as Square or PayPal, they're going to connect their wallets to the Young Finance platform. So that is why more crypto asset selections or volume size come to this asset pool on the business staff, ARCO and NFT staff, so more investment opportunity for the retail investor. So they're gonna provide more better customer experiences here. So more and more retail investors rock their assets into the Young Finance or DeFi aggregated product here, okay? And then these two growth engines is quite like each other, help each other to scale up the Wi-Fi business. And the completely same network effect model will be works for budget products still. So these are the things I want you to understand here, okay? And then governor style, and the same reference, Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi, DAO ecosystem is extremely successful. I see the pretty big potential about DAO mechanism. So Butcher also have to compete with Wi-Fi too. So since Butcher just launched a product, 
So that is why the DAO ecosystem development stuff is a critical requirement right now. Okay. And then number six, hype cycle analysis. So Gartner hype cycle analysis, blockchain business, 220 versions, and a major matching categories here, blockchain asset tokenization. This category is the next biggest things next to two to five years in the blockchain space. Okay, so this is very critical. And the second one is decentralized applications. Since they're gonna provide a B2C application business staff. And for these items about budget project, still a little bit unclear, especially compared with their major competitor, Yam Finance and RenBM. Okay. And a final item, comprehensive evaluation. So about a pain point without any questions. Defy aggregating solutions to minimize the friction cost of a retail investor. I would say most important pain points in this industry. So without any question, it's 5.0. Okay. And about a product, since you know budget product, it's completely the same copy product of Young Finance. There is no critical you know advantage model there. So I said 3.50 here. And the team level, not that bad, but about but DAO ecosystem development stuff, it's a little bit unclear. So I said 4.0 here. And the execution power, they successfully attract a lot of retail investor about TBL size, currently leading player in a DeFi asset market. So I set the certain level of the, you know, evaluation here, so 4.0. But as I told you that, you know, it's pretty unclear that they can maintain this high yield farming ratio on the next one or two years. So that is why I set the 4.0 here, okay? And the token economy, kind of same thing still. Completely same network effect model of the Wi-Fi, RAM, BM, but there is no critical differentiation point to compete with them. And about DAO, it's still unclear, so I said 3.5 here. And hype cycle, of course, you know, blockchain asset tokenization, DApps application, it's a very major industry themes in the next three to five years, but there is no critical advantage about the budget product yet, so I said 4.0 here. So the total score is 23.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So based on my analysis, I cannot recommend investment in budget DAO at this moment, okay? All right, so that is all this time. I also make a lot of interesting videos on the crypto and the blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.